Hi, I'm Joe from Borderwinds Homestead. Um, I'm an urban homestead in Aragon, Georgia, and I am just getting started. I've been doing this for a couple of years, and I am doing a kick Kickstarter. Excuse me. I got Jack Jr. here with me, and he almost jumped off this little table. Um, I'm doing a Kickstarter for uh, building my greenhouse. I do need to get one built for this winter because what I plan on doing is growing food year-round for myself and any extra um, sell off at farmers markets. I do have plans to start hitting up the farmers markets more with a lot of the, the traditional uh, homestead made goods. Uh, I am a hand spinner so I do like taking wool, alpaca, and angora fiber and spinning it up into yarn and also knitting and crocheting other items for people to wear and to purchase at the farmers markets when I am able to attend them. I do also have an Etsy shop that I sell a lot of my items on as well as a Facebook page and that's Border Wharton's Homestead. Uh, you can go look at that. It's kind of been a little slow there lately because I've been sick uh, for a good portion of the summer so I'm getting back into it. Uh, now that I'm feeling better I had to have surgery so that took care of a lot of it and excuse me and you know a couple of goals I, once I get the uh, greenhouse up and built and get that going I do would like to be able to grow some flowers for resale and some herbs for resale and as well as um, growing up enough herbs to also dry and sell at the farmers markets and also I raise angora rabbits for their fiber and I also show them and I've had, gotten, uh, let's see, about 10 rabbits right now. A couple of them aren't angoras, but um, they need an upgrade on their housing. I house them outside since I am in, all year, since I am here in Georgia, but I do need a better roofing system to keep the fiber in prime condition and, because we just had like a week worth of rain because of the hurricane coming up the east coast and all my angoras are going through a felting process just because of the humidity and the constant rain. So I'm looking to upgrade their digs there and probably be able to get enough room for two or three more cages so I can get in some more females. Um, and this is one of my babies from this year. This is Jack Jr. He is a Siamese Sable French Angora and he's been my kind of my pride and joy this year out of all the babies that I've had. Only had three litters, um, but he's the best one. And also, I do want to, you know, upgrade their facility, and then be able to get a couple more cages so I can get some more females in and be able to increase my fiber herd that I have, so I can offer a lot more uh, angora wool fiber products for sale because you have no idea how nice and warm this stuff is, and plus, it's just absolutely, absolutely soft. I. Um, on my YouTube channel, I will be starting to describe all my gardening methods. I do integrated gardening. It's technically called integrated biological gardening. It's where I actually use, uh, because I have a disability and a uh, bad back injury, I can't garden the traditional way. So I've had to learn and explore other ways of getting the gardening done, all the hard work. So currently I have the rabbits and chickens. I did have some quail. Um, we'll probably be getting more quail again in the future in the next month or two. Uh, and all the products that they produce, you know, I plan on either consuming myself or developing into pro um, products to sell to another consumer to help bring in income in. And my ultimate goal is to be self-sufficient and actually, you know, because right now I'm renting and I actually want a home of my own to where I can homestead, you know, everything. Um, but that's in about five, ten years down, down the road a little bit, but it's one of my goals. But right now, I, because I'm in kind of in town and I've got like a quarter of an acre, I can only do the rabbits and I can only have a few chickens for eggs. But they are fun and they are helping me with the gardening. Because uh, right now, uh, just for an example, I have um, kind of a little exercise pen for dogs 
and I've got a few of my rabbits in there and they are actually eating down the grass and are ripping up the roots for me and I actually am planning on using that to put where I put the greenhouse. So it kind of helps weed a little bit and also add, puts fertilizer down because every time, every morning I come out and I actually can see all the worm castings that are coming up because the worms are coming up and eating the rabbit poop. And the chickens actually right now are helping me out a lot because we've kind of had a really t big spider year and so they're going around and getting all the spiders and the spider webs down and they're also having fun finding all the lawn grubs that I've had. And it's been bad two years down here for the lawn grubs. But those are just kind of examples of the integrated biological gardening methods that I like using. And I, because, of, because of the way I am, I prefer not to add any chemicals. So that's just kind of an intro to what I plan on doing and where are we gonna go? Thank you.